Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to film a quick video on sort of study tips and uh, the most efficient ways to study because uh, I think a lot of people have trouble with that, I know um, I did um, and it can get really tricky to know how to study if you don't know um, and a lot of the time you'll just end up wasting so much time and it's really not ideal talking from an A-level point of view, it's really hard work and you need to study all the time, like quite a lot of material, so you don't have any time to waste and it's better if you just study efficiently from the start. So, okay, first of all, I know something we all have is our phone went next to us when we study and it might seem really obvious, but you don't really do it. You like have your phone next to you and maybe you use it to look stuff up, but if you do that, make sure you like I don't know, logged out of Instagram, logged out of Facebook, something like that. Make sure, and if it's if you can't handle that, just put it in the other room, something like that. It's really a huge distraction because, you know, you might be looking something up and then someone sends you a text and you're, you're really tempted to answer. So just put it away, put it in a drawer, something like that, so you forget about it. Um, next is something really important and it's that you need to know what you're gonna study. So for example, when I did my gap year, um, I kind of had planned a sort of like a schedule. So it was kind of like, as soon as I started studying, I was like, okay, I know what I have to study. I knew what books I had to take out. I knew what subjects I was doing. So you need to know straight away so you're not wasting time just going like, oh wait, what do I need to do now? Um, so you have straight away what you know. So what I suggest you do is um, before you go to bed at night time just take out like a I don't know a, like a piece of paper or something and just write down sort of what you think you should do for tomorrow okay um, then uh, schedule as well like breaks and make sure you stick to them like make sure the length of the break stays um, kind of uniform and that you know like have really weird times like three hours at one point and then you study for like seven hours or something ridiculous like that you know make sure you have breaks if you study what I used to do is study um, at the start like usually at the start of the day I would study for two hours and then take like maybe 20 minute break or something like that then two hours then like a one hour break um, and then also important be flexible if you see that like two hours is too long for you and you're losing your like you're not paying attention anymore just stop and just think okay what works best for me try and do this at the start of the year so you'll have it figured out by you know the time you get to the end or the middle um think okay it's one hour better for me just really tailor your studying to how you are and how you study most efficiently so try different things try different schedules um, for me, the two hours worked quite well because it was quite intensive and because in an hour, yeah, you can get a lot done, but if you're writing, you won't like, and reading over and over, like it'll, you might not get that much done. So I think two hours is pretty good. Um, and I think I, I'm, I'm sure you can handle studying for two hours. <laughs> um, then if I don't recommend like studying in your bedroom, I definitely didn't. I studied downstairs where I had my desk because bedroom is kind of like distracting because you have your bed there. Like, I don't know, you have the stuff that you like around you so maybe you'll get distracted, I don't know. But I, I think it's better to just study somewhere else outside of your bedroom. And when you're taking a break, don't sit at your computer, like just move, like go your, to the kitchen, have a drink of water, um, eat some food, something like that. Um, then another way to study, which I found really efficient, is to kind of learn out loud. What I used to do before going to bed, you know, while I was in bed, like um, falling asleep, I would sort of like repeat stuff that I had learned, like definitions and stuff like that to make sure I, I knew them. Um, definitely like repeat things or like read them once over before you go to sleep. Um, and also teach back. And since I didn't really have anyone to do that with, what I do have is like um, big windows in my room and downstairs and I would take like a board marker and just sort of like 
do kind of a lecture type thing for not for everything because you might not have the time but um just to get up and walk around you know just write something that i didn't know or try a calculation on the window um and i think that really helped i used to write out all the formulas on the windows and my mom used to get kind of angry about that but um you can delete it it's just it leaves kind of little film but it's fine um and that really helped me a lot um then and that's pretty much active learning you should really try and do that i know it helped me a lot and that's it those are sort of quick study tips that um could help you have a more uh, efficient study time thanks for watching bye